And I thought this would be just a little bit different for us. And we are going to use a baking dish and I sprayed it because I will have to clean that. And I've got, I <clears throat> already cooked the cauliflower. I thought um, we'll just take that step out of it because it, um, we didn't have the extra time, the two minutes or 10 minutes, whatever. Um, Okay, so in this one, simple ingredients. Um, I think you're gonna like it. it. It's, you know, just a little bit different, um, but yet it's got the cauliflower in there. Something a little bit different to, do, to use um, for cauliflower. Okay, so we've got some mayonnaise for our sauce. So anyway, I cooked it just according to the directions that are on the recipe, about 10 minutes. This is about a medium head, and the medium head's about like that. So when you go down, just go, it's about like that. Because they had some beautiful ones down there. You know, I got, I got a great big one, but uh, the medium's like that. We, we won't go any farther than that. We won't be, you know, talking about melons or anything. Okay, I'm gonna melt some butter. Let's try that. Okay. So we're going to put our mayonnaise and our soup, just a can of cream of, this is our breadcrumbs, can of cream of chicken. What did I get? Fat, this is the fat free kind. We'll eat that since we use the cream. We'll just compensate. Okay. And our mayonnaise. And we've got a little curry powder we're going to put in there. And I think that's it. Is it not in the butter? Where am I? Oh, and cheese. Let's see if this butter in here. Okay, there's our melted butter. I think this is a good alternative recipe for vegetables. All right. And it's not real, you know, I know there's some people don't like the curry. Isn't that you, Joyce? You don't like curry. Didn't you tell me that? But I think, that, you know, by just using, you know, you're not using a whole lot and with the other things in it. Okay. There's our cauliflower. All right, cauliflower or cheese, and we need about half of this bag of cheese. That's two cups. All right, that's about half. So simple ingredients, not a whole lot. That's what we like. All right, and we're just going to put this in our baking dish and put our breadcrumbs on it. And I chose the panko breadcrumbs. We've talked about this before. They're a little bit crunchier. These breadcrumbs are, are there's um, like this. This can is found in with the rest of the breadcrumbs, the Progresso and the Food Club brand by the flour aisle, that's aisle eight. You can also um, buy it in with the Oriental food and I think it comes in a bag or a box there. So if you feel like you're gonna use a lot of them, you can get the box. If you just want to kind of experiment a little bit with them, then uh, this is a nice size canister. And I don't remember how much it was. All right, so there's so, well, sort of a fun little side dish here. All right, spread it out. Sprinkle our breadcrumbs on it. And actually, since our um, cauliflower is already cooked, we're just gonna basically just heat this up. So we'll stick that in. Okay, and our magic oven is at work. There's our 
curried cauliflower so that looks yummy